Hi, guys. Good morning. Good morning, Katone. Morning. You're looking energetic as usual. <laughs> Being energetic is all I've got. <laughs> Furuta-san is so cheerful and cute. Katone Furuta. She goes to the same school as me, Saito Nayama. And she's the most popular girl. Not only is she as cute as an idol, she's also very popular because she's kind and caring to everyone. Some people even call her an angel or a saint. <laughs> morning, Niyama-kun. Let's study hard today, too. Good morning, Furuta-san. I'll do my best not to fall asleep today. <laughs> You were up late watching cartoons again, weren't you? You'd better go to bed early. It's bad for your health. Yeah, I'll be careful starting tomorrow. <laughs> you always say that. As luck would have it, I get to sit next to her. That's why I get to have casual interactions like this. I like her because she's even kind to dull nerds like me. One day during lunchtime... Hey, is Furuta here? Katoni chants away, as usual. Yama-san disappears from the classroom every lunch break. She even turns down invitations from her close friends. So rumor has it that she eats lunch with her boyfriend in hiding. Ah, oh, damn. I don't have a choice. Niyama, can you hand these prints to Furuta? Oh, it's fine if I give it to her when she comes back, right? No, find her and give it to her now. Now? How come? There's been a change in the materials we're using for the after-school committee meeting, so I need to give it to Furuta as well. I wanted everyone to look at them before the committee meeting, but I can't have you all look at them during class, can I? It will be better for Niyama to look through it during lunch break. But I don't know where she is. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll be able to find her. What do you mean? I didn't do anything to earn that kind of trust. <laughs> well, lunch is almost over, so go look for her. All right, I'm counting on you. What? Teacher, Wade! He's gone. Are you serious? My homeroom teacher gave me a reckless task, because I had no idea where Furuta-san was. I'm trying to think of places she might be, but since she has a lot of friends, it was hard to narrow down. I decided to change my thought process. The girls in our class don't know where she could be either. What bothers me is how they don't know despite being connected to each other closely. So, I'm guessing Furuta-san went somewhere hidden, taking a route out of sight. There are a few possibilities, but probably not on the rooftop. The hallway leading up to the rooftop was very public, and if she were to pass through there, some guy would wait and catch her so they could eat with her. Hmm, I think it's safe to eliminate it as a possibility, since I haven't heard anything like that. Yeah, bingo! Looks like she's changed her shoes after considering the possibility that she went outside. This means she's currently outside. If a stranger saw me doing this, they'll think I'm a creep. Ah, do I really have to give this to her during lunch break? I headed to where I thought she might be with these questions in mind. And then... Uh, she's not here. I thought she might be in the back of the school building where it's harder to be seen, but apparently I was wrong. I'm out of clues then. Hmm? Is that a cat? Where could that be coming from? K kitty I'm almost there, so just stay there, okay? Meow. What? Over there? Uh, uh Look out! Furuta-san, startled by my shout, almost fell and hung from a tree branch. She might get hurt if she falls because she's pretty high up. Are you okay? Can you climb the branch? Uh, I can't! I don't have that kind of strength! What should I do? Uh, oh, uh, can you jump down? <laughs> I'm scared! I'm scared! I'm scared! I'm scared! Uh, hey, come down below! I, I don't want you to see! Sorry! Oh, what should I do? I want to lay a cushion for her, but there's no mat or anything. There's not enough time to go to the school gym to get it. I don't have a choice. I'll catch you! So jump off! Uh, uh, are you serious? 
I'm serious, trust me! <laughs> Whoa! I tried to catch her, but there was no way I could catch the weight of a person falling from a tree. So I fell. <laughs> Heavy! Uh, uh, hey, what do you mean by that? What? Oh, the impact! You called me heavy! You said I was heavy! You said I was heavy! I didn't go that far! Uh, I, I didn't mean it like that! I was just talking about the impact! So you are calling me heavy! No! After that, lunch break ended while I tried to calm down Furuta-san who was sulking. But during the next break period... Yamakun, I'm sorry about earlier. I got a little distraught. I'm sorry for saying something insensitive, even if it was intentional. It's okay. A and thanks for saving me. It was nice of you. No, I just happened to be there at the right time. Uh, thanks for the prints, too. Uh, well then, I just wanted to thank you. She said that and went back to her seat. I'm glad she's not mad at me anymore. I judge that by her demeanor. However... Oh no... How can I forget to bring home the homework? As I was walking home, I realized I'd forgotten to put the printouts in my bag. So I hurried back to the classroom. It's been a while since homeroom ended, but the committee chairs are supposed to have a meeting today. So the door is probably still unlocked. As I approach the classroom with a thought in mind... I can't believe it! What? He said I'm heavy! That guy called me heavy! I'll never forgive him! It's not like that, it's just because I just had lunch before and the food was heavy! It wasn't my weight, but that guy still called me heavy! I'll never forgive him! After I make him fall in love with me and get him to ask me out, I'll tell him! I'm too heavy for you! Oh, oh, what? Niyamakun? Oh, uh, uh, I'll be going then. No, uh, no, wait, wait, wait! What? She moved in an instant? No need to make jokes like that right now. No, it wasn't a joke. Weren't you in your own seat just now? That's not important, Niyamakun. What? You didn't see anything, did you? Uh... Right? No, uh, I didn't. I'm scared. I never would have thought Furuta-san is known as an angel or a saint in a face like this. Listen, Niyama-kun. If I hear any weird rumors about me, I'll be sure to suspect you first, okay? Because I'm sure there is no one in this school who would say anything bad about me. You're the only one who would after seeing hallucinations due to fatigue, right? Y you're right. It would have been better if it actually was just an hallucination. I saw something I shouldn't have, and I resented my bad timing. So, why did you come back to the classroom? Um, I forgot my homework. Uh, you're such a goofball. You need to put it in your bag properly. That's why you end up hearing things you don't have to. Yes. I have to leave as soon as possible. My, my life is at stake. Uh, all right then, I'll be going now. Uh, wait, 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 Niyama-kun. Uh, what is it? Are you free after this? I, uh, I actually have to help out my mom. I see, you're free. That's good. Uh, what are you planning to do? <laughs> you don't have to be so scared. I just want to have a chat with you. Do I have the right to veto? Hmm. If you don't mind strange rumors about you starting tomorrow, be my guest. Uh, I'll follow you anywhere. Yay, thanks! The place where Furuta-san took me as she acted pleased was... F Furuta-san's room? It was her room of all places? Uh, d d don't be so surprised, it's embarrassing! No, but is it fine? What do you mean? You don't know who would hear us if we were talking in a place like that. What's a person who was yelling and screaming in a place like that saying? My room would be the best place to talk because people won't be able to hear us. 
So, in other words, you were pretending to be someone else at school all this time? Uh, yeah, well, I guess so. What? On the contrary, I ask you, did you really think such a saintly character existed in real life? It's not a comic book or an anime. Well, that's true, but you were my first love. So, there's two reasons why I brought you here. One, I don't want you to tell anyone about my true nature. Well, I don't think anyone would believe me if I did. Mm, you're right. But there might be people who will try to find out just for the fun of it. Especially those who are jealous of me. I want to get rid of everything that could spark a fire. I understand. So what's the second reason? So, you're into anime and manga, right? Mm hmm, yeah. Well, if you don't mind, let's talk about anime and manga. I actually love anime and manga too. What? Why do you want to talk about anime? <sighs> because I play the role of the innocent straight-laced honor student at school. I don't have any friends I can talk to about that kind of stuff. You're an anime geek, so I've been wanting to talk about this stuff ever since we sat next to each other. But I was holding back because I didn't want my true nature to leak out. Now that I've been exposed, uh, I think it's okay. Wait, could it be? Her true self is also really cute? Uh, no? Uh, sure! I like talking about that too. Oh, really? Thanks! Come here then. It's hard to talk standing, isn't it? Let's talk over here. But that's your bed, is that okay? Excuse me? You don't have to be so formal. So, to be honest, I think I've seen most of this year's spring anime that you watched. Wait a minute. How do you know what anime I'm watching if we haven't even had this conversation? I judge it based on how sleepy you are every morning. You're into watching it live, right? Th that's right. Oh, I knew it! I'm the same! So you often stay up late too? Of course! You never look sleepy though. Because it would ruin my image if I dozed off at school. So when I watch anime late at night, I finish my homework right after I get home, take a bath, and take a nap before. Wow. I can't believe you go to such a lens to protect your image. So, what was your favorite spring anime? Let's see. I think it was the second season of Come to the Classroom of Meritocracy. Oh, me too! There was a sequel after four and a half years. I was so happy because I was afraid I wouldn't get to see the rest of it. Oh, that's right! The last episode and the one before were awesome because they put so much effort into the illustrations. The scene where the main character shows his hidden power and fights, oh, it was so cool! It was my favorite part of the original story, too. Oh, you read the light novel, too? Yeah, of course. Have you read it, Miyamakun? Yeah, I, I'm reading it. I started reading it about four years ago because I was curious about the anime. I was surprised to find how the original story and the anime were quite different. <laughs> oh, right. But I think it's great because they're both interesting. Surprisingly, I had a lot of fun talking with Furuta-san. It was actually easier to talk when she was pretending to be someone else. And ever since then... Hey, want to come over to my place again? Just like this, I was invited to Furuta-san's house every day. And we began to spend our days talking about anime, manga, and light novels, having a lot of fun. To be honest, I found her childish personality cuter than the saintly Furuta-san who was just putting on an image. And three months went on like this. Uh, hey, Miyamoku? What is it all of a sudden? Well, you know, I'm really popular at school, aren't I? Hmm? Oh, yeah, because you're faking it! Hey, don't talk to me like that! So sorry, I was just being honest since it came out of nowhere. Uh, are you trying to pick a fight? You are, aren't you? No, it wasn't on purpose. In this case, I think it's more problematic if you didn't do it on purpose. You're so rude as always. <laughs> oh no, I stepped on a landmine. Sorry, I really didn't mean to offend you. <sighs> I know, I know. We've been together almost every day for the past three months. 
Not only after that, but she would invite me over on weekends, calling it an anime viewing party. So, so, back to the subject. I'm quite popular, right? Oh, you're gonna bring it back from there? Yeah. So, does that make you want to go out with me? What? Hmm, what do you think? Wait, what do you mean? Is that what that means? <laughs> To Furuta-san's expression, her question on this situation, there was only one possible answer. I mustered up the courage and answered honestly. I... I want to go out with you. I like you, Furuta-san. <gasps> really? Yeah, of course. I... I'm glad. I I've actually liked you for quite a while now. To be honest, when I found out your true nature, I felt like I was lied to and thought... What an awful personality! Uh-huh. But you're so cute when you get excited talking about anime and manga that I fell for you all over again. So I want to go out with you if I can. Uh, uh, what's wrong? Hey, Mihamakuri. Yes? You're really insensitive, aren't you? What? Are you trying to pick a fight with me after all? No, I was just being honest about my feelings. Uh, you're too honest! It seems I've unknowingly stepped on a landmine again. However... I'm going to be your girlfriend from now on, so you better spoil me without being mean anymore! She seems to have forgiven me. I mean, she's just so cute. I decided to pamper my first cute girlfriend I ever had while calming myself down. From then on, we started hanging out together at school and we were happy. By the way, the reason why Furuta-san, or Katone-chan rather, was pretending to be someone she wasn't was because she had a bad experience in junior high of girls being jealous of her, and did that to get her classmates on her side. From now on, I'm gonna study hard and exercise to become the man who can protect her. Senpai, I really like you. Please, go out with me. It was after work. Akari Kagari, my junior three years younger than me, had just asked me, Yuto Imajo, out. Not only does she have a pretty face that catches everyone's eyes, but she's also very popular at work because of her friendly and cheerful personality. She's my proud junior, and she takes her work very seriously. Not to mention she's very polite. I was happy to be asked out by a girl like that. However, sorry, I have a girlfriend. I had to say no. What? I kept it a secret from everyone. I'm sorry. N no How long have you been together? Since college. So we've been together for over six years now. Uh, I see. Of course. You're a very nice guy. It's no surprise. What? Don't cry! I, I I'm sorry. I'm going home. She ran away after saying that. Oh no, I made her cry. I could have said it better. It's not every day I get asked out like that, so I didn't know the best way to say no. It must have broken her heart. I hope she comes to work tomorrow. To my surprise, Kagari-san worked energetically as usual the next day, but she was somewhat distant towards me. Well, I guess it's only natural after being rejected. Then I was going abroad on a business trip for six months because of my past achievements, so Kagari-san and I never saw each other again. Six months later... Ah! Six months was a long time! I was able to return home a month earlier than scheduled thanks to the hard work I put in during the six months at the company overseas. I've made Suzuka feel lonely, so I have to go home as soon as possible. Suzuka is my girlfriend, who I've been dating since college. She moved into my place a year ago. I haven't told her that I'm coming home early. I'm sure she'll be surprised. When I was overseas, I didn't tell Suzuka that I was coming home early, so she wouldn't be sad in case I had to stay behind for some unexpected work. Well, part of the reason is also because I was afraid she'd get angry if I did have to stay behind. She's quite difficult. It's still morning. Maybe she's sleeping. Wait, what? Whose shoes are these? I found a pair of men's shoes at the doorstep I couldn't recognize. They're definitely not mine. No way. I had a bad feeling, but kept telling myself it wasn't true. 
We've been together for over six years now. We're even thinking about marriage. It can't be. Suzuka? Suzuka was sleeping in the bedroom with a man I didn't know. I knocked them both awake, and Suzuka was distraught. And then... It's your fault, Yuto. Suzuka came into the living room after getting dressed and started blaming me! What? I had to seek out another man like this because you made your girlfriend lonely for six months. Are you serious? Of course. Besides, he's amazing. He's the young president of my company, and he's brilliant. The complete opposite of a guy like you who gets sent overseas because he can't do his job. No, I wasn't sent away! And the reason I went overseas is actually the opposite! What are you trying to say? So, let's break up. We're not married, right? <coughs> I never imagined I'd be put in a situation like this. But I knew that I would probably get angry if I did. But now that I was in such a situation, I was too stunned to get angry. Okay, can you just pack up your stuff and leave now? What? This is my house too. Why all of a sudden? I'm the one paying rent, right? And I pay for all the utilities and food. Why should I take care of you when we're splitting up? But that doesn't mean you can say that all of a sudden. Well, well, Suzuka-chan. Why don't you just come to my place then? It's a comfortable luxury apartment unlike this one. Really? I'm coming right away then. <sighs> After that, Suzuka happily left with her fling as if I didn't exist. I wonder what all that time was about. It seems that I was nothing more than a wallet to her. After that... Hey, Imajo-san, what's going on? You just got back from an overseas business trip and your passion? Whoa, did the overseas department stimulate you? I became so devoted to my work that I was slightly taken aback by the people around me. Uh, Imajo-san... Hmm? What's wrong? Um, are you alright? You don't seem like yourself. Ah, uh, well, I was abroad for six months. People change. Aren't you pushing yourself too hard? It seems like you're trying too hard. What happened to you overseas? Nothing happened overseas. Nothing overseas? Did something happen after you came back to Japan? Well, it's a private matter, so it's none of your business, Kagari-san. Uh... Did something happen with your girlfriend? <coughs> How did you know? I thought that was most likely for someone who couldn't stay in Japan. <laughs> I can't compete with you, Kagari-san. Anyway, it's business hours now, so... How about we have lunch together? M may I? Of course! I'm the one who invited you! Oh, I'm flattered. But... your girlfriend... Don't worry about it. We'll talk about that, too. I... I'll take your word for it, then. And then came lunch break. Kagari-san, are you ready to go? I yes Hmm? You don't feel well? N no it's nothing. Really? Then let's go. It's been half a year. I hope she's not dragging the past behind. I took Kagari-san to a nearby restaurant. Before we talk, let me ask you. Do you really want to know what happened? I yes, I want to know. It's heavy. Don't worry. I'm ready. I see. Well, to put it simply, I was being cheated on. And then I walked into the scene of the affair. Isn't that a hell of a scene? Kagari-san, this is a restaurant. Oh, I... Uh, I'm sorry. But... Yeah, it's a surprise, isn't it? And on top of that, she started saying it was my fault. How come? She said it's not her fault getting attracted to other guys since I've been abroad for six months. W what is that? She's shutting her eyes away from her own faults. To be honest, I was so dumbfounded I couldn't say anything. But maybe I've been a bit naive, too. Thinking it was going to be okay for us to be apart for six months since we've been together for over six years? By the way, did you keep in touch with her when you were abroad? I did, every day. But looking back now... There were times when I would reply the next day, so I guess that's when she was having an affair. Returning to Japan. Oh, 
The company didn't allow you. It was more of a request. But I think they would have allowed me to return to Japan if I had insisted. The travel expenses are ridiculous, and I was concerned about my reputation with the company, so I didn't ask. Maybe I got punished for that. Imajo-san... Uh... Um... Whoa! What is it? Do, do you remember what we talked about six months ago? What? That's... I yes, it's about the confession. I still like you, Imajo-san. If you broke up with your girlfriend, would you consider one more time? But... If I decide to go out with you now, it's like I'm finding a replacement just because I broke up! I'm fine with that. Besides, they say you need to find new love if you want to forget a broken heart. Hmm... I didn't know she was such an aggressive girl! Could you give me some time then? I yes thank you I will do my best to make you like me. Hmm? Um, Kagari-san? Excuse me, there are other customers, so if you could please keep your voice down. Kagari-san's words caught my attention, and I tried to get confirmation, but the waitress warned us. Yeah, I guess we made too much noise. After that, we left the restaurant as soon as we finished our meal. Of course I apologized to the waitress. Hopefully my co-workers weren't there. On the night of such an occasion... Good evening, senpai. For some reason, Kagari-san visited my house. Kagari-san? What is it? Um, have you eaten yet? No, not yet. That's good. Then, can I make something for you? What? You went out of your way to go shopping? Yes, I wanted you to enjoy my homemade cooking. What a kind girl. Thanks. Please, come in. Uh, thank you. Kagari-san seemed very happy when I let her in. I wonder when the last time a girl made me a home-cooked meal was. I used to cook when I was going out with Suzuka. <laughs> I'm good at cooking. You can look forward to it. She said, and immediately started cooking. I don't know if she was too excited, but she forgot to cook the rice. When I mentioned that, she started washing the rice in a hurry and decided to cook just in time for the rice to finish cooking. Uh. I made a mistake right away. You don't have to worry about something so small like that. No, I can't make a mistake while I'm appealing to you. You're as serious as ever. Relax a little more. It's more fun to be with you in your natural state. Uh? You're a hard-working person, but if you put in too much effort, you'll get tired. So you should relax a little more. You're getting a little stiff, aren't you? That's because you suddenly pet my head. Sorry. I just felt like it. I'm sure she'll be shocked if I tell her it was because she felt like a little sister. I should keep quiet about that. Then, can you pat my head until the rice is cooked? Don't worry. I'm satisfied now. Uh, What's wrong? You're the one that started petting me. Why can't you do it a little longer? Oh, she's sulking. I guess she likes to be pet. Like this? Uh, senpai... You can't be helped. Is Kagari-san surprisingly a tsundere? I kept petting Kagari-san's head while thinking about that. When the rice finished cooking, Kagari-san moved away, looking very disappointed. But she did her best to cook for me. The food was very tasty, living up to the expectations. However... May I come and cook every day for you? I gave her my honest opinion, and she wanted to come back tomorrow. She wouldn't back down, so I decided to have her cook for me every day. Six months later? Yeah, your cooking is delicious! Being together every day brought us closer. <laughs> I'm so happy! She's cute after all. It's about time to give her an answer. Hey, Kagari-san? Can I talk to you about something important? What is it? Well, I've been thinking about it a lot. And I... Sorry, I'll get it. What a turn of events. I was just about to have an important conversation. Who could it be? Yes? Who is it? Yuto. What? Suzuka? What on earth are you doing? Yuto. Wait, what are you doing? I'm sorry for everything. You're all I've got after all. Let's start over. What? What are you talking about? Senpai? Oh, Kagari-san. What? Hey, who is this woman? Oh no, 
This is getting complicated. We then moved to the living room, and I asked Suzuka why she came. So you're telling me your new boyfriend dumped you? Uh, he told me he found a new girlfriend, so he's done with me. Because of that, I'm getting the cold shoulder at work, and I lost my place. I bet you were just getting carried away since you were the boss's girl. Please, Yuto, let's start over. You're all I have. What? How can you be so selfish? Do you know how much you hurt Imajo-san? Kagari-san, it's okay. I imajo san so, let's start over. I'm sorry, Suzuka. It's too late. What? I feel sorry that your boyfriend dumped you, but you already dumped me, right? Don't you think it's strange that you're clinging on to me just because some other guy dumped you? Well, that's... But, but I still like you. I'm sorry. I can't feel anything in the words you're saying. In that respect, I could feel her emotions for me when she confessed to me. Uh... So I'm sorry, Suzuka. I can't. Because I'm going out with her. Imajo-san... Don't be silly. You're being lied to by that woman. How dare you listen to that thieving cat! I'm sure anyone will say that you're the one talking nonsense. It's my fault for spoiling you since we were in college. But I'm sorry. I can't deal with you anymore. Y you're going to regret this. You'll never have another chance to date a beautiful girl like me. Don't worry. I think Kagari-san is better than you, both inside and out. What? I won't forgive you. I'll never forgive you for what you just said. I guess Suzuka couldn't accept what I said about her appearance. She got angry and left the room. She's such a selfish girl with a big ego. I feel sorry for her that she got dumped, but I don't know who was at fault. Uh, um, senpai. Oh, sorry. It was supposed to be the other way around. I was going to tell you earlier, but after spending the last six months together, I've fallen for you, Kagari-san. So I was wondering if you would go out with me. Uh, uh, of course. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. I'm sorry for making you wait. And once again, best regards from now on. I yes I'm looking forward to us, Senpa- uh, um, Yuto-san? Despite the interruption, this is how I ended up going out with Akari-chan. After that, I forgot about Suzuka and spent my days in happiness. Ugh, that's rough! Ugh, how much are they gonna make us ride? I was in my junior year of high school and playing in basketball. Our school wasn't great, but it was a solid mid-tier school. We have a championship soon. We gotta work hard. You're so slow, but you have so much endurance. Seriously, how are you still standing after all that running? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much all I've going for me, so... I wasn't anywhere near first strong. In fact, I was often called slow. No one counted on me. Uh, one more! Hmm? <sighs> when I looked in the direction of the voice, I heard the school Madonna, Kaguya Shiratori. She's a year older than me, but not only is she beautiful, she's kind and very athletic too. She had no faults. What are you looking at, Akaru? Kazuki. Tease me, man. His name was Kazuki Tender, and he was well known for his skills, even from middle school. He's our ace in the hall. <laughs> yeah, I'm not teasing you. Just spitting facts, bud. That's cool teasing. I don't blame you. She's really cute. You really should listen to what people are saying. You okay with that, though? With what? Look! You're so good, Kaguya! Kusutani, uh, I'm busy. Relax! I just wanted to say, great job! You have excellent form! Thanks, I guess. What are they talking about? I have no idea. But they have always gone along, so rumor has it. They might even be going out. The captain, Ryota Kazutani, was tall and handsome. He was popular with the ladies. Maybe he was a good fit for the school Madonna. What are they doing during practice? You're in a bad mood. <laughs> You're really testing my patience, huh? <laughs> Sorry. How about you go show him up one-on-one -on -one, then? <laughs> How'd you expect me to do that? I left my best friend and went back to practice. This was a regular day for me, aimlessly passing by. 
Then, a few days later, my life drastically changed. Ikaru, just like I said before, this is your new mother and her daughter. When I came back from the hospital one day, my father brought two women. Oh, uh, I thought you were just bringing the woman you were going to marry. Hey, Akasaka. I did not expect a daughter to be Miss Shiratori. Uh, hey, Miss Shiratori. You two go to the same school and are in basketball together, right? <laughs> I'm glad you two know each other. Y yeah. <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> yeah, surprising. My <laughs> father pushed Shiratori and I to go to my room and get acquainted. So, what do I call you? Uh, what should you call me? I mean, one day we're going to have the same last name, right? <laughs> so I can't really call you by your last name forever. That's true, but... I'll call you Hikari then. Uh, okay. <laughs> what about you? I guess I'll call you Kaguya. <laughs> it's a little weird, huh? Y yeah. <laughs> Who knew I'd be step-siblings with a person I admire? I always thought she was well beyond my reach, so I'm so happy. So you've always played basketball? Huh? Why do you ask? I always thought you had excellent form. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've ever been complimented like that since I joined high school. <laughs> really? All the girls are saying it. Really? That's a little embarrassing. So you've been playing since you were in elementary school? Yeah, I guess so. Really? So then we probably have met since elementary school then. Oh, I, I don't think so. I wasn't on a team in elementary school when I came back here right before I started high school. Really? You weren't in some private sports schools out of state, were you? I can't get a sports recommendation when I haven't even gone to a tournament. I just had to stay at a relative's house out of state. Oh, I see. You can call me sis too. Where did that come from? Feel free to love me. Seriously, what has gotten into you? I can't do that. Oh, come on. What are you two talking about? Oh, <laughs> nothing, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, well, lunch is ready. Let's go eat. Afterwards, we all had lunch together, but I had something to do, so I didn't have much time to talk to them. The next morning... Hikaru! Uh, Kaguya? You going for a run? Can I go with you? Huh? Um, sure. Uh, thanks. I'll get changed real quick and head down. She closed the window after leaving me with those words. A few moments later, she came out of the doors. Uh, you go jogging every morning? Well, more like running. Ah, that's why you have so much stamina. Nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah, let's. We're running together. Maybe I should slow down? It feels good to run in the morning like this, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you always train like this. I'm sure you'll be first string in no time. Um, thanks. Oh, sure. By the way, is it okay if I ask you something personal? What is it? Uh, do you have a girlfriend? What? But why do you ask? <laughs> I need to know what my brother has going on as your sister. But what? No, of course not. <laughs> I see. <laughs> no worries, though. You'll find one. Uh, what about you? Huh? Me? From what I've heard, you and our captain are dating. Huh? <laughs> no! That's not true. Huh? She's seriously denying it? They're probably just joking around. I see. I'm serious. He's asked me out, but I turned him down. What? Seriously? You two get along so well during practice, though. Uh, that's just because he talks to me. If anything, he gets in the way. In other words, he likes her, but she doesn't like him back. Or is he just following her around? I see. You're so blind. Sorry. <laughs> uh. Afterwards, she continued being cranky, but I headed to morning practice as usual. 
So, do you want to hang out after practice later? I want to practice alone. Sorry. How about next week? I have a tournament. What do you think about them? Hmm? Well, they seem to get along. Does it look like they're getting along, though? I mean, the captain seems like he's having fun. And Shiratori is smiling, so they're probably having fun, right? Mm, I thought so, too. Does it not look like Shiratori is uh, troubled? I mean, a little bit. What? Why? Shiratori is nice, so she's smiling with him, but she looks like she's forcing her smile. But you just said they look like they're getting along. Oh, I was just testing you. What? I could tell you're interested in her, so I figured if I taunted you, you'd challenge him or something. What do you want from me? Um, to try. Try what? We're juniors, man. We can't take our time. And that has to do with what? You just figured out that those two aren't that buddy-buddy, right? So, go interrupt them. Do you want me to fight him that badly? You realize that Shiratori might fall into the captain's hands while you're sitting there with your hands in your pants, right? You do realize he's our captain, right? That's not something I need to be worried about. And yet, you're going. This is, you know, to go tell him that our break is over and practice is starting again. We have a game next week. We, we, we need his head in the game. Hmm. Uh-huh. Seriously! <laughs> Just go already. Hey, Cap. Break is almost over. Oh, hey, Akasaka. I'm having a moment. Leave me alone. Coach isn't even here yet. That's not the problem. We have tourneys next week. It's fine. We have Kazuki. Even if we do have Kazuki, if you don't take this serious, we're not going to gain position. Huh? You're not even second string and you're talking to me like that? Just speaking the truth, basketball isn't that easy. Haha, <laughs> look at you with that big attitude. Try to show off in front of the girl. Stop. Why are you messing with your own teammate? He's the one that picked a fight with me. He needs to be put in his place. Stop, I said stop. You're too mean to him. Huh? Then go out with me. Uh huh? If you'll date me, I'll stop messing with Akasaka. Uh, but... I knew he was a womanizing prick, but I didn't think he was this low. I guess it was because Kaya wouldn't open up to him. Miss Shiratori, don't worry. Cap, let's, let's do a quick one-on-one. -on -one. Akasaka? Are you seriously suggesting that you might win against me? Stop joking! I'll stomp your slow ass into the ground! Don't worry, I don't lose to people like you. If I do win, though, you never speak to Miss Shiratori again. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at your confidence! Fine! Let's go, but if I win, you quit from basketball. Okay. What are you saying? Don't do that. It's okay. It's not okay. You have to quit basketball if you lose? I don't want you to do that for me. Don't worry, I'll win. Trust. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Ikaru. What's going on? Uh, apparently, Hikaru is gonna 1v1 with the cab. What? There's no way he wins. The uh, cab was pretty darn good when he was in middle school. Not to mention, he's playing against the slowest guy on the team. Look how much taller he is. Uh, there's no way he's winning. Hikaru is always so calm. What's gotten into him? If the offense misses, we swap possession. First to five. I'll let you go first for good manners. Thanks. When you're ready. All right. First shot. Huh? Hey, did, did he just make that three? It was so quick. He had the shot off before I even noticed. D damn it, you got lucky. I just let my guard down. Okay, then heads up. Y you better calm down. Come at me. Got you. Too slow. What a juke! He's so fast! 
How is he cutting so quick? Don't think you're all that! Is that really Hikaru? What's going on? Cab caught up from all the way back there, and he's so tall, Hikaru's shot is gonna get... Too easy. Point two. A double clutch? That wasn't a juke. He was going for a layup. How balanced do you have to be to do that? Cap was reaching from behind. How did Hikaru know to react? A oh, holy cow, Hikaru! Why is he suddenly so good? It's not like he suddenly got better. He was always fast and good. Oh, hey, Tendo. Does that mean he was always hiding it during practice? I mean, it sounds bad, but yeah, he couldn't go 100%. Probably about half what he actually could do. Uh, why? His body wouldn't keep up with how fast he was in middle school. So he injured both his knees in the 8th grade. What? Really? And he's okay pushing that hard now? He was told by the doctors he was fully healed yesterday. We were practicing on our own from yesterday and he told me then. Oh, that's why he didn't come home last night. He was with you. Huh? Come home? Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Uh, anyway, he just healed. Should he be really pushing so hard? Oh, he's still only going at like 80%. He's a lot faster when he's serious. Oh, wow. He's fast. I mean, he was chosen as an all-star in middle school, so... Uh, really? Oh, look, the game's about to be over. <sighs> There's no way. I can't lose to you. I'm sorry, but I don't lose to people who don't take practice seriously. Damn it! I watched how the captain moved and figured I would just dive instead of juke the final point. This is game! <laughs> what? He's not even six foot and he's dunking? He's got mad hops. Hikaru won! D damn! You're incredible, Hikaru! Kaguya, thank you. You're all better now, huh, Hikari? I'm excited for a tournament. Kazuki, it's hard to keep you waiting. Seriously, I was excited that you were coming back, so I joined this school instead of my first division school. I was always surprised why someone as good as Tendo would come to this school. And now it makes sense. We have two aces now. We can win the Nationals. Oh, he's not an ace. He's a command center. Uh-huh. Ikari is good with teamwork and not solo, so if you think about it, that game was a pretty bad example of his skill. What the hell are you, Hikaru? You're hacking, aren't you? <laughs> Hang on! One more round! That was your offense, so now I'm gonna go on offense! What? You said you gave it to me. That wasn't a real game! If I just seriously play... We played one more game. I, of course, stopped his offense and immediately scored five points, ending the game. The captain was pretty quiet after that. You are incredible today, Hikaru. Yeah, just normal. <laughs> Everyone was surprised. The girls wouldn't stop talking about you. That's a little embarrassing. <laughs> By the way, you said you didn't have a girlfriend. Yeah. Do you want a girlfriend? I mean, yeah, but... Can I nominate myself? What? I like you. You're kind and you're so good at basketball. How can I not fall for you? Please? Uh, of course. I've always liked you. Really? We like each other then. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Let's be together as lovers from now on. Oh, uh, okay. Let's do it, Miss Kaguya. And that's how I started dating my sister. There are probably a lot of problems, but I will do what I can to make her happy. And because I was able to make her mine, I was extra motivated during the tourneys. We had won a spot in the internationals. Do you understand the meaning of no work, no pay, Katsuyama? Uh, sorry, sir. This is how I was always treated as a useless guy at work. However, one day when I helped out a girl on a full train... Give it another half year and I'll graduate. 
Will you date me? She asked me out, and I became a CEO with a salary of over a million a year? Let's go back a little bit to figure out why this happened. Uh, no contracts yesterday. My name is Yudai Katsuyama. I'm 23 years old, I work at a sales company, and realistically, I wanted to work with my computer skills, but my boss wanted me to work with outside sales, so I work with outside sales. Realistically, I don't like working with people, it sucks, and I want to quit, but... Huh? A high schooler? It wasn't that rare to see a brunette high schooler chilling at the train station. The only reason I was surprised was that she was pushing a baby cart. They must be distant relatives or something. This route is pretty busy. Is she gonna be okay? Once the train got to the station, she pushed the baby car into the train very carefully. She looked like she was easy and her face was cute. I was a sleeping baby and she pushed the baby car very carefully, but she seemed uneasy in the train. She slowly moved towards the handicapped seats, but then a bunch of high schoolers sat there first. They were all focused on talking to each other and they didn't realize that the girl was pushing the baby cart. In the full train, a middle-aged office worker ran into the baby cart and... Oh no. It woke up. It's okay, Miki. It's okay. It's okay. Just be a little quiet, okay? Ahem. Sorry. The people on the train were upset with her fumbling around for what to do with the baby. Oh, I couldn't resist anymore. Um, you guys, can you let her sit there? Oh, go ahead! We're getting off soon anyway. You and your wife sit there. Oh, they're great kids. But did they just say wife? Something fell off, but whatever. Here, go ahead and sit there. Let me help you. Oh, uh, thank you. Oh, don't mention it. Those male high school students helped us to calm the situation down. Oh, you really saved me. Thank you. Oh, don't worry about it. Seriously. She's still whining though, huh? Uh, um, what do I do? Oh, yeah. I pulled out my phone and opened up YouTube. When you showed this video, baby stopped crying apparently. Wow, she looks happy. Phew, we're okay for now. Thank you, sir. Huh? Oh, this was kind of interesting. I've never been thanked this honestly for a long time. Her bright smile and beautiful gaze healed me a little. We made it to the station. She was going to get off at the same station, so we got off together. You really saved me. Thank you so much. Don't mention it. So where are you headed? I'm heading to Cannon Hospital. Oh, that's really close to my office. <laughs> I'm going to go get a cab, so if you want to come, you can come with me. It's honestly the opposite direction, but i got to see this through. Seriously? You'd be okay with that? Yeah, let's go. This girl's name is Miki, and she's my sister's kid. My sister is in the hospital at Cannon, and her husband is a doctor there. I was supposed to take her when her husband, who works nights, was going to be done, but he had an emergency patient. No one could take Miki to her six-month checkup. Ah, so you had to take her, huh? Yeah, because I live in their house. Live in their house? She must not be living with her parents. So is your sister okay? Yeah, she just has a little fever, but she should be fine. I see. I didn't realize that taking a baby on the train was that difficult. You're really amazing, though. Doing this while having school. Uh oh <laughs> She seems kind of wild, but she seems like a good kid. And her face when she's embarrassed looks kind of cute, too. That's when the taxi arrived at Cannon Hospital. Thank you so much. Oh, my name is Sakaya Tamioka. What's your name? My name is Yudai Katsuyama. I want to thank you later, so can I have your contact info? <laughs> you don't need to worry about that. But... A kid shouldn't be worrying about how to thank an adult. I'm 18, I'm legal. Oh yeah, the laws have changed, but she's still a high schooler. Sayaka, sorry! Oh, Mr. Hiroto. I saw you from the window. And who is this? Oh, he helped me on the train and helped me to this point. Oh, my name is uh, Kats Katsuyama. Thank you very much, Mr. Katsuyama. You brought Miki and Sayaka all this way. Oh, I don't mention it. It was just sheer luck, so don't worry. This must be Miki's father. He's good looking and a doctor and kind. <laughs> He's nothing like me. Afterwards, Sayaka's uncle, Kimajima Hiroto, wanted to thank me as well, but I really didn't do anything amazing, so I said it was fine. I left, saying I had work to do, and eventually... You're late. Do you think you're irreplaceable? Sorry. My boss didn't really ask me why I was late, but he told me that I had to work extra hard since I was late. I was just glad that I was able to help someone else at all. A few days later, I was still running around doing sales. 
Explaining my job a little, I basically just did what I could to make sales easier for the real salespeople. A company will release a product and we will turn around and sell things for them instead. The internal sales will use the internet or phones, but I just had to run around like a chicken with his head cut off. And this is pretty normal, but... I don't need it! Go somewhere else! I'm sorry for, for, for taking your time. People would often just turn me away like I was some kind of nuisance. It was also a pretty tough standard that we had to reach, and the people who had been bad and the people who had bad sales records were treated as useless. In other words, it was me. I had no motivation recently. However, I was able to find a job here, and I didn't want to just quit. I didn't think that I didn't think that any company would be willing to hire me after I quit within the year. I was sitting on the park bench thinking when. Oh, hey, Mr. Katsuyama. Huh, Sayaka? I stumbled into Sayaka. She was next to what seemed to be her sister pushing Miki along in a stroller. Hey, sis, this is that person that saved Miki and I before. Ah, this gentleman. My name is Kimijima Chizuru. Thank you for helping out my sister and daughter. Oh, it's quite alright. Huh, they're so pretty. You didn't tell me your contact info. I was looking around for you in the train station. Uh, really? But I said you didn't have to worry about repaying me. N no, I wanted to see you. I see. Huh? What? Oh, um, that was, um... Sayaka, calm down! I, I just wanted to talk to you more. Huh? <laughs> it took some time, but I started talking to Miss Chizuru alone. Thank you for the other day. Don't worry, uh, congratulations on getting out of the hospital. Thank you. Anyway, I've never seen Zakaya so happy to be with someone other than Miki. Huh? She isn't normally like that? Yeah, after we lost our parents in the accident. I see. I listened to what happened a little bit after that. After Sayaka started middle school, apparently her parents had passed. The sisters who had been left behind worked hard to save each other. Shizuru had met Mr. Kimajima three years ago and got him married a year ago. Sakaya went into high school and started dyeing her hair and getting piercings. I thought maybe it was because I was making her sad. My husband, Hiroto, thinks of her as his real sister. He welcomed her into our home, but Sakaya seemed uncomfortable. I didn't feel right about being the only person who was happy. I see. That's why she said that. I guess it's a thank you for letting me stay at their house. It all made sense, and I was feeling a lot of things. Miss Kimajima and Chizuru are both incredibly kind, but I think they might be trying too hard for Sayaka, which is making her try even harder for them. She probably feels like she's getting in the way of their happy life. But when I was admitted to the hospital, I was glad she said she wanted to take care of Miki on her own. She looks easy, but she's always been a kind soul. I see. She really is a kind girl, huh? I'm sure she's dressing and acting that way to pretend to be all grown up. What did you guys talk about? Oh, was it about me? Yeah, about how you're a kind person. Huh? What? No! No, I think you're a kind girl that can take care of a lot of people. Just like how you looked after Miki. You're praising me a little too much. You're a good kid! Stop treating me like a child! Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Ugh. But if you want to treat me like a kid, you should tell me your contact info. Huh? Contact info? I have a lot I want to talk to you about for help. Unless you have a girlfriend or something. No, I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> Are you okay with it? Of course I'd be okay with you too. Okay, then let's trade information. Yay! She's still a high schooler, but I guess if it's just hearing her out. I messaged Sayaka every once in a while and started keeping in touch with her. On the weekends, I would hang out with her. If she had something she wanted to talk about, I would help her out. I was just hanging out. If that helped her release some stress, I was okay with it. I had fun when I was with her too, but I had a problem. Hey. 23, right? Yeah, why? Five years older. Doable. I'm an old man from a high schooler standpoint. No, not at all. You're totally within acceptable limits. In half a year, I'll graduate. Will you go out with me? You haven't even decided on what you're going to do after high school, right? I'm going to be your wife. I'm not worth being your husband. I get treated like trash at work because my sales are so bad. I don't know how long I can keep this up either. Why don't you just quit then? You should just tell them no since they don't appreciate you. I can't just quit that easily. No one knows what will happen in the future, so it's worrisome. You're worried about what you're going to do out of high school too, right? Yeah, but I do want to be your wife. That's the truth. Th thanks. But I have almost figured out what I want to do on my own. After watching after Miki, 
I might want to be a kindergarten teacher or something. Oh, I guess I'm not fitting though, huh? Considering I'm like this? I don't think so. I think you're perfect since you're so kind. Really? Yeah, I'll cheer for you no matter what you do. Oh, come on, that's not fair. Huh? Did I say something funny? You're just too kind that I can't help but fall for you. Ugh. Uh, what's wrong? I've never said this before, but I'm about to implode. You're gonna make me blush. She really liked me and I'm starting to like her too. But I have to start thinking about what I'm gonna do too. She told me I should quit this job, but I'm still worried to leave. I'm worried about her too. I don't know what would happen if I didn't have a job. I'm gonna cheer for you too. No matter what happens, I'll love you. So keep doing what you want to do. After I was pushed, I went home and thought about it for a few days. Then... Huh? You're quitting? Yeah, I thought about doing what I wanted to do. A few days later, I ended up turning in my resignation letters. He laughed at me, but I felt good about it. I quietly did my job in the three months until I quit. Then I started my own company immediately. I wanted to sell things online. I enjoyed clothing and other goods, so I was interested in marketing. I didn't want to just sell whatever, but I wanted to brand myself. I used my sales knowledge to my advantage. Here you go, coffee. Thanks. At first, it didn't go well, but Sayaka helped me out and it all changed. I started listening to their opinions and targeting certain demographics. Then I started selling things quickly and I was making bank. It's insane. It's like it's flying off the shelves, huh? It's because you and your friends' opinions. There's no way that an old fart like me could have any idea what teenagers want. <laughs> I'm glad I could help. Also, I was able to get into tech school. Whoa, congrats! I'm going to be a kindergarten teacher. This is how we pushed each other forward. And then Sayaka was going to graduate. She was going to start a technical school from spring. I decided I would tell her how I felt. Congratulations on graduating, Sayaka. Thanks, Yudai. So there's one thing I want to ask. I didn't really tell you how I felt, but I really do like you. I liked you from the second I saw you, but you're in high school, so... Uh, would it be okay if you stayed by my side? Uh, why are you crying? Because I'm so happy. I, I, I didn't realize you'd be that happy. <laughs> I thought you thought of me as a kid and I'd have to wait for a while. No, I'm sorry for treating you like a child. You were always more mature than I was. I'm sorry for always acting better than you. If you'd like... Of course I would like to. Whoa, we're still in your school? I love you. I'm going to be with you forever. Y yeah, let's go out. This is how we started going out. Two years later, I was 25 and she was 20. CEO Yudai, congrats on your company. Calm down, you're going to embarrass me. I was just a private business owner at first, but I opened up my company and went public. There weren't many employees, but we were going to open up a store in town soon. So, what kind of company are you running? You said congrats without even knowing about that? Whatever. You're going to be a kindergarten teacher soon. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm so nervous, but I'm excited. I have a little present for you. Huh? What did you get me? I don't know if you'll like it, but... Ah, it's a cute apron, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know about that. It might not be as practical. What is it? Some kind of watch or something? I gave her something that would make her cry, but she said yes immediately. We're going to help each other out going forward. Zero friends, zero friends, zero friends. That was just a sit... I was essentially just air to everyone else. I was reading a book, alone as usual. It was a little sad book. Ah, uh, what a perfect story. I was almost about to cry, completely forgetting I was still in a classroom. That's how amazingly moving this book was. I'm sure no one would notice if I cried anyway. The only person that would talk to me, the loner, would be someone who liked weird things anyway. Hey! A girl showed up to talk to me right at that moment. Ah, there's a girl who likes weird things. I'm going to punch you. So, this girl that looks like she'd be trouble for anyone. Just ignoring the fact that she kind of looks like a hot mess, she still looks incredible. This girl who has the dark black hair and the amazing face with beautiful proportions is my childhood friend, Sarah Kazunoki. It was always so awkward that she would talk to this guy who was practically invisible to everyone. However, childhood friends can be incredible. I'm able to talk to her, even though I'm an introvert geek with communication issues. <laughs> so, what's wrong? Just tell me where you want to be hit first. I want to know why you're talking to me. Honestly, I want this to just never get brought up again. My sister is having a wedding later this year. Oh yeah, I heard she got married. 
I told her congratulations the other day. She wants us to go check out the venue. You can say that choosing the venue might be the most important part of a wedding. Location, price, size, type of wedding. <laughs> it's how people will celebrate your marriage. It's important because it's the start of everything. So I'm going to check out the venue tomorrow. I see. In other words, you're doing this to check out our future, right? Just tell me what part you want to have hit already. Oh yeah, she doesn't understand what a joke is. Being serious now, why are we going and not them? Don't the people who are getting married usually go check things out? They're busy, so they want us to go check out a few venues and show them some recommendations. I mean, it'll probably help you out in the future too. My sister won't have two brides, so it won't really help me. Ah, so you're planning on marrying another girl. <laughs> hey, what are you two talking about? A girl showed up while I was surprised to hear about her preference. The girl with the cute eyes and cute face and cute everything with a tiny body. The brown hair that grew down to her hips shine. Hey, tell me too! Her name is Miku Kais. She's a school Madonna and kind of an idol. Apparently, she gets along with Sarah. Miku! Why are you hugging me all of a sudden, Sarah? Oh my god, you're so cute! I just want to eat you up. Crap! She's giving off an expression you can't have up on YouTube! Oh yeah, that was that book that was released earlier this year. Close your eyes. Kais was being hugged by me while looking at my book. Although I'm mostly invisible to everyone in class, I was still able to speak to Miss Kais a few times. It helps that she was Sarah's friend, but the biggest thing was that she liked books as much as me. Yeah, it was really good. Lucky, I haven't been able to buy it yet. You want me to lend it? No, I want to buy these on my own and read it. Oh my god, that face as if she's just said something incredible. <laughs> it's so cute. So, what was that thing you were saying about earlier? Marriage. Huh? Marriage. Huh? I have some places reserved today, so we're gonna go look. You work fast. You gotta decide fast and marry fast. I'm not sure if a fast marriage would be able to find fast love. I hope it's not a shotgun marriage. Wait, you two are getting married? I didn't realize that she would be this surprised to go look at wedding venues. Y you two are moving too fast! Hmm? I mean, I think it's a little fast, but just like Sarah said, we gotta go find it and decide fast instead of just wandering around. <laughs> you just gotta go for it. I feel like it's too fast. I mean, you gotta decide to plan for the future, right? Wow, you're planning so perfectly for the future. I hope Sarah's sister is able to plan perfectly for the future. So as soon as class is over, get ready to go. Got it. Gotta work fast. This is all for Sarah's sister, who always took great care of me. I need to think of everything and use this as experience for the future. I didn't realize they were both so into each other. I must have been too late. No, I still have a chance. I'm gonna go too. You'll come with us? Yeah, it's important to me too. Wow, you wanted to marry me? I wonder if they have a plan for two brides. I feel like there's some kind of miscommunication going on here. I gotta make sure you clear up any misunderstandings or people will start to make mistakes later on. So we all went together after class. After class, we started looking at all the wedding venues. This is the first place? Yeah, I saw it online and it looked pretty good. It's so nice. Is it just me or is Miss Guy's upset? That's so weird. I thought it would be the perfect venue for the two. Unfortunately, you can get married in Japan with two women. Is that clear here? I didn't realize they were so into each other, but they're so into each other. Hey, she looks like she's about to cry. I want at least three kids. Hey, come back to reality, damn it! There was no way you could have kids with just women anyway. Anyway, we couldn't just keep thinking about her, so we went into the venue and got everything taken care of to start the tour. This is the venue here. Wow! This is where her sister will have a wedding, huh? I didn't decide this would be it, but I was starting to get excited. I'm so jealous. I figured I would console the person who was about to cry later, but... So, how many people are you going to invite? I'm not sure. I think if you include family and close friends, it shouldn't be that many people. You're already deciding on people to invite? Y yeah If you didn't decide now, it'll be a pain to send out all the invitations. Then maybe this size venue is perfect for your wedding. That's true. Is it possible to see some of your wedding gowns? I would like at least two or more for the bride. You did ask that for one person to have multiple choices, right? Wow. That's incredible. We were shown the dressing room. Apparently, they also lend out wedding dresses here. 
Most of the women who see the wedding gowns react the same way as you two. I've heard that to girls, the most looked forward to dress in their life is a wedding dress. I'm sure she's gonna be looking forward to her dress by crying. I had some lint in my eyes. I'm gonna pray that these are tears of joy. I wonder what happened to her. Is she okay? I feel like she's being extra negative today. Is she worried about something? Man, imagine kissing Miku when she's all dressed up like this. Maybe she's got some problems with her friends. When did Sarah become this kind of girl? Would you like to see the groom's clothing as well? Oh, that's okay. Why don't you want to look? I'll only get jealous of a man who's blessed with a woman. <laughs> Death to all men with fulfilling lives. And that's how we finished our first venture tour. I didn't think that we would be able to go to the second venue, so we decided to go take a break with some drinks before going home. Having drinks with two beautiful girls. Why the hell are you looking at us? Oh, nothing. Anyway, I looked over at Kai's. Why is Miss Kai so torn up over this? I don't know. I gotta cheer her up. I didn't know or understand why she was so upset, but I couldn't just leave a girl who was about to cry alone. She's one of my few friends. I, I mean, acquaintances. <laughs> Calling the school Madonna my friend is pushing it. Let's just go for it. <laughs> hey, Miss Kais, uh, wanna go to the bookstore with me later? Huh? Let's go buy that book for you. I actually had some books I was interested in as well. I'm not sure if this would cheer her up though. I knew that she liked books, so I figured that she would be happy, but come to think of it, I'm not sure if she'd be happy to go with a geek like me. I'll go. Huh? Wow, I didn't expect her to be so happy. I'm gonna go for sure, for sure, for sure. Wow, that much, huh? She must have wanted to read that book badly. Why do I feel like he's misunderstanding me? Oh, that new book from her favorite author is being released today as well. He's definitely misunderstanding me. What are you gonna do, Sarah? I'm not gonna go. If there are some nudie megs, go buy some for me. Huh? I feel like those are for men. Also, as jealous as I am, I feel like I would just be getting in the way. Sarah crossed her arms as if she knew something. I had no idea what she was talking about, but I understand now. Uh, are you sure, Sarah? Yeah, why would I care? But isn't that cheating? Huh? Huh? I really didn't understand what that meant, but whatever. We walked to the bookstore in front of the station. Hmm, this is... this is a date, isn't it? Being with a girl is definitely a date. No, 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 don't get ahead of yourself. The girl is Miss Geis. Hey, it's been a while since I've been out with just you, Aizawa. Oh, uh, oh yeah, that's true, huh? I'd feel like I'd been here with Miku and Kai's a while back. The fact that I'm with another girl alone is rare in of itself. Who do you normally come to the store with, Miss Kai's? Oh, uh, I come alone sometimes. The school Madonna definitely moved differently from the way I did. Sarah always comes with me, too. I see. I hope that friend doesn't evolve into a stalker. Ah, it wasn't sold out yet. It says second edition, so they must have printed even more. Huh, I'm sad that as a longtime fan, I couldn't buy the first print. You can't always be greedy as a student. But you did. Of course I bought the first edition. I'm so upset. <laughs> She's so cute. I'm having so much fun coming to the bookstore with you. She smiled at me. I'm glad to have come with her as well. I'm glad that we were able to come to the bookstore together, but I'm also glad that I'm able to talk to her without any problems, as... Someone with serious communication issues. B but I need to keep it to myself. Maybe she's got someone that she likes as well. It's Miss Kais who was liked by everyone. I'm sure she would be able to get the other person to like her with ease. Okay, I'll keep it to myself, okay? I didn't think that I said anything that would make her cry. Oh, hey! I saw a bridal magazine. I was curious after just checking out a wedding venue. There are so many different types of weddings now. Man, this diving plan seems fun. Huh? I was reading just out of curiosity when I could see Miss Kais was visibly shocked. Are you serious? Huh? Oh, um, you went to go see the venue and you're reading a bridal magazine now, so I just thought you were super serious. I see. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty serious. I mean, it's a very important person's wedding. I want to make sure that I help her out. However, she looked like she was about to cry again. If anything, it looked like she was no longer able to hold it back anymore. Maybe that's why. I, are you okay? I can't do this anymore. Huh? I thought you were going to get married to me. Huh? But you're going to marry Sarah. My brain was having a hard time keeping up with Miss Kais. But wait, what are you talking about? 
You're going to get married, right? You're that serious. You're so serious, you're checking out wedding venues. No, wait! She said she wants three kids. Unfortunately, we did not talk about anything with our kids. Uh, uh, l let me just clarify this. Uh, Sarah's sister is the one getting married, okay? Huh? We're just going because they were too busy. Of course, Sarah and I aren't dating. There was no way that I would be liked, and I think Sarah isn't interested in my gender anyway. As sad as it sounds when I think about it. So, I'm just misunderstanding? Yeah, her face turned a bright red. I would probably be embarrassed too if I'd mistaken that. Also, hey, what did you mean by us getting married too? Uh, uh... What is this? Now I'm getting embarrassed looking at this too. I know I'm just a regular girl, but a lot of guys ask me out. No one was surprised by that. I'm not trying to brag. I just think that you know, we get along well, so... I see. You get along with everyone, so you know, I'm just happy. So I figured if I asked you out, you might say yes. It's not like you talk to people other than me, so I figured you didn't dislike me, but... I, I see. So, you were upset this whole day because you thought that I was gonna get married to Sarah? But because, to me, I was still getting ready to talk to you, but then you two went ahead with all of your planning. Just so you know, I'm not like that with her. Even when we were talking about wedding, she was looking for another bride. Uh, really? Yeah. Oh, what is this strange feeling? I didn't think this would happen to me, especially not with the Madonna. I really didn't want to tell you that I liked you this quickly. It's okay. I understand, but you know, I, I, I said I like you too. We're also still in the store. Uh, this is the biggest mistake of my life, but now I can hear what you have to say. Huh? I mean, it was my misunderstanding, but I'd like an answer. I like you. Please date me. I couldn't look away from her. I could tell she wasn't joking. I can't believe she liked me. I really couldn't believe it. How could she like some geek like me? I guess saying I couldn't believe it was rude. That's why I should just be honest in my response. That was the best I could do for her. I... Tell me where you want to be hit. What? This is the first thing you see when we switch scenes? The next day, I was already facing a life or death situation from the person closest to me. I haven't done anything wrong! Don't lie to me. I got a message from Miku yesterday. Is that about... Morning, you two! It must have been the perfect timing. She popped in right as we were in the middle of it. What's wrong, Sarah? You're gonna make his shirt wrinkled. She's more worried about the uniform than me. She must be used to this whole thing. Whatever. Is it true? Yeah, we started dating. Immediately, the whole class was taken up in a loud mess of surprise. A, a Madonna is going out with someone? She said no to me because she likes someone. Was it him? Who the hell even is that? Hey guys, we're all classmates. I'll let it go for today. We gotta go to the second venue anyway. I guess she's not gonna let it go tomorrow. But I can't believe that. But I can't believe this either. I was able to go out with Miss Guys. Wanna go, Miss Guys? Yeah! I could feel a warmth in my chest as she hugged my arm. It'll help us in the future. I had no courage left to meet a nod for her. Today's the start of my dream job as a manager. I, Kazutoshi Akatagawa, will start working as a manager at an entertainment agency today. Two months ago, I was originally working as a salesman for another company. And that day, I was visiting a client company that I've always been a part of. And I was leaving after finalizing a contract for a new product. You must be Akutagawa-san. May I have a moment of your time? You are... Great actress, Kagaya Minigishi-san! I was approached by an actress I've loved since I was a child. <laughs> I'm already retired, so I don't think I should be called a great actress. Uh, I'm sorry, but it's an honor to meet you. I've heard rumors that you're the president of this company, but I never thought I'd get to meet you. I'm glad you're pleased. So, do you have some time to spare? Yes, of course! I was taken directly to an empty reception room. I've heard a lot about you from my subordinates. 
Not only do you explain things clearly and to the point, you also understand exactly what we are looking for and only bring in products that are mutually beneficial. N no Thank you for the compliments. It's an honor. <laughs> With that said, I have a consultation for you, Akutagawa-san. Yes? What is it? Are you interested in the entertainment industry? What? Y yes Of course I am! I actually manage an entertainment agency. Would you be interested in being a manager there? I was thinking of having you manage a very pretty girl. <laughs> if you talk to me like that, it makes it seem like you would take it on with an ulterior motive. I will pay you decently. In exchange, you might have to work with a minimum amount of days off within regulations of the law. That's a scary thing to say so casually. But being a manager in the entertainment industry has been a dream of mine since I was a kid. Okay, I will accept your offer. <laughs> I knew you would say so, Akutagawa-san. It's a good trait to be able to make decisions quickly. Let me talk to you about the details later. Oh, this reaction. She must have known that I like the entertainment industry. Come to think of it, I've been asked this question by the person in charge of this company. I'm pretty sure it was President Minigishi who asked me but I was invited by someone whom I was a big fan of. Of course I would accept. And so, that's how I got my new job. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting, Akutagawa-kun. Ah, President. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. I've changed the way I address and talk to you because of my position, but I hope you'll forgive me. Yes, it's all right. I've already called the girl who I want you to manage. She's a little bit difficult, but please don't give up on her. What does that mean? You're saying that now? Anyway, please come inside. Oh, Mom, you're late. There was a girl in the room who was giving off such a harsh vibe. I could tell at first glance that she was a cool kid. I know. It's the boss's daughter. Arisa Minigishi, a former child prodigy. She retired one day before junior high school, and she came back as a model after high school. But she's famous for being very self-centered. Does this mean that... Now, as you probably know, this is my daughter, Arisa. Starting today, I want you to be her manager. I knew it! What a girl she's pushing on to me! Uh, what? So this guy with the face that looks like he could be anywhere is the new manager? That's right! Change! Wait a minute! Sorry, I'm into handsome guys. Even if you tell me that now! But the last time I gave you a good-looking manager, you said you didn't like him because he seemed to have an ulterior motive. I hate guys with ulterior motives. And you didn't like the guy before that because you said he seemed too uptight. Uh, he was no good. He didn't look very accommodating. How self-centered of her. After that, Arisa-chan's selfish comments continued, and I was getting fed up. She's only a senior in high school. Anyway, can you tell me your schedule? It would be better to ask your former manager, but he seems to be busy. Why are you talking to me like that? What? Use honorifics. I'm an important person, you know. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen such a brat. Excuse me. So, what's the schedule like? There isn't one. What? I don't have any upcoming work. You have no plans? Does that mean you don't have any work? Uh, don't get me wrong. I'm the one turning it down. I don't want work that exposes my skin. I don't like it when they make me do weird jobs, so I pick it myself. Uh... 
Nikishi-san, that's enough. Uh, wh what? Of course there are jobs that you don't want to take on, but what are you doing turning them all down? Stop being so picky! Y you have a temper despite your looks. If you keep talking nonsense, I'll get angry too. I'm here to do my job as a manager. Your mother invited me to quit my previous company to come here. I'm not here to deal with such a selfish and delusional girl. What do you mean, delusional? You've got it all wrong. You're not the one who's important. It's your mother. And yet you use your mother's influence as a shield to do whatever you want. Don't you have anything to be ashamed of? I used to be called a child prodigy. You're not an actress now. You're a model. You're judged by your current popularity. If you were popular as a child actress in the past, but not at the moment, what's the point? You're just clinging to your past glory. What? what are you talking about? You just became a manager today. And you're lecturing me like a big shot. I have an obligation to make you a popular model. You can't keep turning your back on reality. <laughs> I hate you! That's fine by me. But if you keep this up, there will be no place for you in the entertainment industry. Uh, you don't know what you're talking about. No, I do. I can tell by the way your popularity is declining. And what are you going to do when your mother leaves the entertainment business? No one is going to stand up for you. But... Let's make sure you change yourself while you still have your mother's influence. You're blessed with your mother's good looks, Arisa-chan. If you just change your attitude, you'll be popular again. Uh, really? Oh, uh, that's an unexpected response. Of course it's true. That's why I'm here. But how can an inexperienced newcomer... Hey! We were just about to make up. Don't mention that! <sighs> I'm sorry. Uh... <coughs> Being inexperienced doesn't matter. I'll make sure I make you popular. Okay. If you say that much, I'll follow your lead. She's not a bad listener after all. It's my job to make this girl popular. I'll do my best. After that, I drilled some manners into Orisa-chan. Greetings are important in everything. I made Orisa-chan practice greetings so that she could do it properly. And after that, I taught her how to be considerate. While teaching her, I was also being taught about managerial duties from the president. The other managers were not available. So, I was given direct instructions on how to get contacts. Then, a few days passed, and I went to Endosan, the producer with whom I made an appointment by phone. So, I was wondering if you could use our Arisa for the show. Arisa-chan, huh? Well, I've watched her ever since she was a little girl, so I'm very attached to her, but... I'm afraid the directors won't like the idea of using her. Please do something about that! She's not disrespectful like she used to be! Hmm... I don't think she can change that easily. Please, don't worry. I'll take responsibility if anything happens. Besides, please, look here! Many people on social media are saying they want to see Arisa on TV again! I think her casting will lead to higher ratings! Why are you that passionate? The agency wouldn't get mad at you, even if you couldn't get her a job, would they? Because I became Marisa's manager. Her life will change drastically, depending on me as her manager. So I'll do the best that I can. I see. I want you to tell me one more thing. Why did you come to a TV station and not a magazine to sell her? She's a model now, right? If that's the case, she should be pitched to magazines and not TV. As you can see from that paper, it seems that most of the people who want to see her are males. 
And the target audience for it looks like it would be mostly young to middle-aged males. And therefore, it would be more effective to have her on TV than to have her as a model in a magazine. Fortunately, she has the advantage of being a famous child prodigy. I see. Is that all? What? What do you mean by that? Isn't there another reason why you went through the trouble of using President Minigishi to contact me directly? Uh... I asked the president which producer cared most about Arisa when she was a child actress, and she referred me to you. I knew it. Huh. All right. I'll give you one chance. Really? Yeah. I felt your passion to change Arisa for the better. However, as I've said before, it's just once. If Arisa is rude to the other co-stars or the staff, I won't use her again. That goes with not being useful for the show as well. Is that okay with you? Yes, thank you! No problem. But more importantly, I want you to take care of Arisa. Yes! I went back to the office in high spirits after successfully closing the deal. And on the day of Arisa Chan's appearance on the show. Arisa Chan, you look pale. Are you okay? Fine. It's been too long since I appeared on TV, so I'm just a little nervous. I see. Oh no. Uh, she was used to it since she appeared on TV a lot as a child actress, but I guess it's been too long. Be polite, and don't use rude language. As long as you're careful with that, you'll be fine. Don't take it too seriously. You'll just be watching and commenting on all sorts of funny and heartwarming videos today, so it should be easier than a normal talk show. I'll support you as much as I can, so just have fun. I did my best to encourage Arisa-chan and help her relax. Then, when we got to the TV station... G good morning! I'm Arisa Minagishi. I look forward to working with you today! Arisa-chan greeted the staff cheerfully and everyone was surprised. They all seemed stirred up. I... I knew it. Everyone's weirded out because I'm not used to doing this. No, that's not true. I think they're just surprised because you're being polite. <laughs> Aren't you cheerful? Oh, Endo-san. Good morning. Good morning, atukugawa san And Arisa. <laughs> Endo-san, good morning. Um, I apologize for my behavior on that occasion. Hmm? Is that when I approached you because you were feeling down after a fight with the staff, and you said, I don't want to be bothered by you, old man? Arisa-chan, how can you be so rude to the producer? I'm sorry. <laughs> you really have become so polite. Amazing stuff, Atukugawa-san. As expected of someone who was co-signed by President Minigishi. <laughs> I would appreciate it if you could put that kind of talk aside for the next time and tease Arisa-chan in moderation. Oh, sorry. I'll have the staff take you backstage so you can relax until it's your turn. Then we were escorted into the dressing room. We made our way around to talk to staff and to greet the other co-stars. The people who originally knew her were surprised by Arisa-chan's change. But they were happy to see her, so I was glad. I guess everyone's a professional here. And when the recording started... Oh, that cat is so cute! Arisa-chan's nerves were eased as the image of the cute cat appeared on the monitor. She was rather excited, which made her cute. It was a relief that she was able to perform well after that. <sighs> Thank you very much for today! Arisa-chan was able to properly greet the staff and the co-stars when recording was over. She thanked Endo-san for giving her the job. <laughs> no problem. The recording went well. It feels like you're changing for the better, too. Your smile today was cute, Arisa. Uh. 
I know, right? I think she has a very cute and charming smile. M manager Good for you, Arisa. Akutagawa-san has a huge crush on you. I never said that! Y yes Please stop joking around. No, no. The enthusiasm this guy when he came to pitch for you was amazing. I thought he was in love. Uh... Please, so be ridiculous. Of course not. What? Is that so? That's what it looked like to me. Please don't say that. If people find out that Arisa has a man in her life, it will ruin her image and popularity! <laughs> it's fine. No one's taking it seriously. But still, just in case. Sorry, sorry. I'll make it up to you next time. Wait, what does that mean? Yeah, I'm thinking of asking her to be on my next show. <laughs> Not as a guest this time. But as a semi-regular, no. Depending on how popular Risa is this time, I'll consider making her a regular. Really? Yeah. That's how good Arisa was this time, including her attitude towards the staff. Thank you! Th thank you! No problem. Arisa met and exceeded our expectations. Well... If you want to thank me, just do your best to get good ratings next time, too. Endo-san said that and left. It felt like it had been a while since I've seen such a cool adult. M manager That Endo-san approved of me! Endo-san, who's famous for being a devilish, uncompromising performer busher, gave me his approval! Hey, Arisa! I can hear you! I didn't know he was known for that. But I think I understand. Arisa-chan, how could you stand up to someone like that in the past? Uh, uh, come here for a second. What? Arisa-chan? I was taken straight into the dressing room. Was it something you don't want other people to hear? It, yeah, well... I don't mind if they hear about how I confronted Endo-san, but I just wanted the manager to know everything about me. Oh, I see. Thanks. I don't know why Arisa-chan stopped pursuing an acting career. There must have been a reason, so I didn't want to get into it. But I've been curious about it, so I'm glad she's telling me. I... I loved acting back when I was a child actress. It felt like I was experiencing a bunch of different lives by playing different roles. That's why she was so good at immersing herself in the role. But as I continued acting, one day I didn't know who I was anymore. Huh? What do you mean? It felt like it wasn't me. My memories of Arisa Minegishi faded away, and the memories of the roles I played grew stronger. You mean, you were stuck in the role? Yeah. It was scary, so I couldn't act anymore. That's why she retired from the business. They protected Arisa-chan by making sure she didn't have to act anymore. But, you know, I still wanted to be in the entertainment business. Because it's the industry my mom was in. So I started modeling when I was in high school. But one day I heard the staff making fun of me for quitting the entertainment business. Saying things like, I ran away but came back with my mother's influence. Or that I was going to run away again because it wouldn't work out. Like my mother who quit acting to run a business. I see. So that's why you've been cold to everyone around you. Because I was frustrated. They made fun of me, but even made fun of my mom. Is that why you got into a fight and rebelled when Endo-san approached you? Yeah. I see. But if you're frustrated, you have to show them back with your results. I'm sure you already know that. But 
You'll be doing yourself a disservice by behaving so recklessly. Arisa-chan, you have the talent. Let's rise to the top and look back at those who made fun of you. Yeah, but I'm stupid, so I might go off the rails again. So, um, will you stay by my side to prevent that from happening? Oh, yeah, of course. I am your manager, after all. Will you support me for the rest of my life? Of course. Wait, what? What do you mean by that? I like you, manager. What? Why? You were so against me back then! I... I was really angry when you scolded me at first, but... You take me seriously, and you care. You taught me manners and listened to me kindly at times. Th that's why I like you. So, when I get to the top, please marry me. Arisa-chan. Yeah, you're right. If you achieve that goal, let's get married. R really Of course. I'm glad because I thought you were cute too, Arisa-chan. Arisa-chan! Shh! Don't be so loud! I don't want other people to hear! After that, we checked the aisle, and fortunately, no one heard our conversation. Feeling relieved, we prepared to go, thanked the staff, and went home. The days that followed were busy. Sure enough, Arisa-chan's smile on that show got people talking, and she quickly became popular again. Apparently... Arisa-chan's smile, which she had never shown before, had a great effect. She's not only become busy with TV shows, but also with modeling jobs. I continued to support her, and two years later, Arisa-chan and I had our wedding. <laughs>